do this. I can do this. Remember your training. Keep her straight. Keep her level. Don't do any hand jazz. Yeah, Diggs. Got it. You sure? She breaks above 100, so don't... Diggs, the glove's reading my brain waves. I gotta keep my mind blank. Oh, right, right. Breaking through a giant miasma wall. Don't need me yet. <laughs> She's on the other side of this wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't quitting. We'll find a little brother. We'll find her. My asthma's kicking up. Let's get back to town. Fix this glove. Uh, here's the quickest way home. Sweet. How about we take a look around? Some good loot in these parts. Diggs, look. And my asthma sure is angry. Swirling like a whirlpool. Beautiful. Don't go near it. me to reach out and... Elvis, you sneeze into that thing and it'll turn you inside out. Now let's go home. We can't get through here. I humbly accept this esteemed peace prize, not for myself, but for the pioneering spirit of all Americans. We have righted the wrongs of our forefathers, healed the scars that divided us, put an end to hunger and war. A renaissance for humankind, a great stability. Now, let us work together to share this American paradise with the whole world. Fun, Mama. Sick of being alone. I just want some family. What? You got your family right here. Me. Yeah, but Diggs, you're a... 
Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> kick-ass brother. Best brother I could ever have. <laughs> ah, you know it. I see it, but I don't believe it. What are those things? Ugh, frogs. Frogs walking on two legs, murdering people. Those are not animals. Not people, neither. They're monsters. Goddamn monsters. What are they doing with... Wait. Hold on. That's the Vader family. Assholes. We don't fight anything we don't understand. We're going home. Hey, you are aware the only way home is through them? Shit. Hey, get Tiger tough, little brother. We about to throw down. Dicks, these things are freaking huge. Hey, you want to get back to town? Pull that trigger. Tiger tough. Come on. me that much. Full cover. Can't get a clean shot. Let's flank the bastard. Hit him from the side. You alive? Yeah, I think so. You? Rocking and rolling. We made these boys extinct. I don't think so. Look! Find some cover when the time's right. Flank them! Face us! Help! 
damn it! Missed him. Seeing the Vader family rotten out here. Damn, frog monsters. Is this some sick joke? Watch your anger, Elvis. We should go. We gotta get these bodies back home. Yeah, we'll come back later. You don't know what's making the miasma angry, do you? To know what's making the miasma angry, you have to know what miasma is, what it really is. And you have no idea. At least you know how to fear it. That's good. You see it turn air into poison, nature into nightmares, frogs into monsters. You know you can't escape it. The miasma surrounds your town like an ocean surrounds a lonely island. And it's spreading across America, twisting this once great nation into a lethal wasteland. So don't leave. Stay safe and sedentary. The dull, colorless mining settlement you've lived in your whole life. Put your head down. Work hard. Provide the gold that feeds America's rulers, the first family. And pray the miasma's anger doesn't wipe your town off the map. No one here is brave enough to conquer their fear or create their destiny, except you, Elvis. With your big brother, Diggs, and years of hard work, you've harnessed your glove's power, and now you want to find me. But you still don't know what it really is, do you? I could tell you. But revelations must be earned. So a secret, it shall remain. Maybe in the future, you will be strong enough to break through the wall and find me. And if you do, maybe I will tell you my secret. But we both know you'll die along the way. Because between me and you, lies the miasma. We gotta tell the mayor what we saw. The mayor? What's he gonna do against frog monsters? He can't hold a gun. Can't even run. He's been running this town for 80 years. He'll know what to do. Oh, sedentary. Home sweet home. 
You saved my ass back there, big man. Nah, you got the magic, bro. All I got is strength, wisdom, charisma, good looks. Okay, let's talk to the old man. Elvis, the boy with the magic glove. Mayor, listen, this is gonna sound crazy, but we saw monsters. Real monsters. What's with the hunched shoulders and sour puss, boy? I keep telling you, if you don't project power, someone's gonna take it from you. You heard what he said, old man. Monsters, right outside town. I'm talking to the smart one, you tin brain nitwit. Okay, say that again. <laughs> Diggs, calm down. <sighs> Trash can. What's he yakking about, monsters? That's what they were. Big, nasty frog things. They killed the Vodder family. Damn near killed us, too. Loads of them are coming for the town. You gotta do something. Mm -hmm. I knew this day was coming. What you mean you knew? It was the last full moon. The mayor of Pikeville was screaming at me on the radio about some invasion. I sent the sheriff out there for a look-see. He said the townspeople were gone, and the streets were covered with giant sacks of eggs. Frog eggs. We can't let that happen here. You can get the town to fight. This is a mining town. We mine. No, the miasma's changing, behaving differently. It's more important than ever. You get through that wall and find your mama, Bob Mati. She's the only one who might know what's going on. Like it or not, Elvis, the fate of our town is in your fingers. Yeah, about my fingers. The glove's dead. I blew out the power core. Well, go find a new power core and come back here pronto. I'll take another look at your mama's data drive. See if she left any clues on how to keep that glove from breaking. And one more thing. Do not leave town. It's too dangerous out there. Only one place to get a power core. Murthus? Fat chance, little brother. After the shit you pulled. Fate of the town's in my fingers, right? How can she say no? Elvis? Oh, hell no. Get out. Bertha, please. All we need is one fresh power core. You blew up my car. Last damn car in town. You know how expensive that thing was? I do, and I'm sorry. My glove misfired, and... Uh, listen, we're on official mayor business. I don't care if the mayor comes here and karate chops me with his tiny arms. Supplies are limited. I got merchants disappearing in the miasma. First family's giving me shittier gear. But if you happen to find me a torque jammer, maybe I'll forgive you for killing my car and give you a power core. Listen, we don't have... Uh, I got your torque jammer, Bertha. <laughs> oh, yeah? It's right out back, and, uh, Bertha, while I'm out there, I'll be holding on to the memory of your beautiful face. Okay. Get me that gem, and the core is yours. Better hurry. It's my last one. What the hell are you telling her? Grabbing a talk jam is easy, little brother. Just gotta know where to grab. Order's been picked clean. Screw the border. We can go to Gator's own. Your call. I'm going to Gator Zone. Tiger Tough. Come on. Hey, what's your name? My name is Get the Hell Away From Me Before I Pop a Cap in Your Ass. Nice to meet you, too. Hey, yo, Elvis. Sheriff gave me this badge. I'm official gatekeeper to Gator Zone. That sick or what? Pretty sick, Earl. Guarding the border like a boss, boss. Hey, 
You know that girl over here? I seen her following you. You saw monsters? For real? Damn, Travis was telling the truth. He saw them too? He said he killed three of them in a row with his shotgun. He just stayed where he was, dug in like a tick, watched them walk into his line of sight. Boom, 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 one after the other. Helps to have a gun in multiple rounds. I got some tips for you. Have you seen any barrels out in the wasteland? Maybe. Well, these barrels contain some volatile chemicals left by the originals. Try shooting them. It's really cool. But shoot from a distance or you might get hurt. Oh, you don't want to go to Gator Zone. My asthma's acting real weird up there. Well, looks like we're going anyway. Got any advice? Yeah, don't come back dead. Here, take this grenade. Makes bad things blow up. Thanks, Earl. I appreciate that. Good luck. Let's make this quick. I got a bad feeling about Gator Zone. Well, I got a good one. You want to fix your glove, right? Let's get Bertha what she wants. Sure, searching the wasteland for a tool the size of my hand. No sweat. Ah, I got your back, you got mine. Everything's easy peasy. Local fauna mutating twice as fast as last week. Baxter, you shouldn't be out here. The miasma's spreading. I need to find out why. Find out in town. It's bad news out here. You're not my dad, Elvis. You're my friend. We're still friends, right? This place is evil, Baxter. And you're too... Full of light? I'm not full of light. Seriously. I don't want some creature dragging you back to its hole to, like, turn you into soup or some shit. Aw, sounds like you're sweet on me. Is he sweet on me, Diggs? Yeah. No. Dude. What? It's cool, I get it. Who has time for friends when you're looking for family? Oh, bite me. You're my best friend, Baxter. I've just been busy. But we'll hang soon, I promise. My asthma's been acting weird. No shit. I don't want to brag, but I am the greatest scientist in town. Only scientist in town. You don't get it. It's making monsters. We saw him murder the Vodder family. What? Shit. I should have saw this coming. The last few weeks, there's been this hyper spike in the miasma's flux signals. Like it's getting... Angry? Exactly. Someone, something, is pissing it off. Screw bad news. I need some good news. You got me? Uh, well, nobody killed me today. Wow. Real blast of sunshine, Elvis. You know the difference between me and you. I got a metal glove and you got a metal arm. <laughs> Cute. Difference is, I know who I am. But you're looking for someone to tell you who you are. Okay. Tell me who I am. I can't. You are who you want to be. You choose. <laughs> wow, that's some deep shit, Baxter. I'm gonna ponder that. Good seeing you, Elvis. Don't get lost out there. Frog monsters. Keep cool, little brother. Remember hunting coyotes with mama? If we sneak up on the bastards, we can ambush them. 
That gives us the first move. What if they see us? Where's Gru? <laughs> Taking a little look, see. What do you think will happen if I shoot those fuel cans? Blamo, blamo, bye bye, froggy. That old timer needs help. We'll sneak in and ambush these bastards. What the hell are you? What do you want from me? Diggs is going solo. Help! Somebody help me!
Down for the count. That's my little brother! Not getting up, trust me. Saved my life. Hey, you're Bamati's boy, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. You better get back to sedentary. Like that, safer? Your ma used to protect our town. You know that? Without her magic, I don't know how we're gonna keep this evil from killing us. As sure as night turns to day, old man, we're gonna find her. Yeah? Then you're gonna need my backpack. I got a frag grenade and medipod inside. Hmm. Guess you're saving our lives. <laughs> Much obliged, old time. Don't you worry about me. Just get my breath back. America was forged with their blood. Take him down. Hold on now. I see a torque jammer. We can't fix your glove without it. Ah, time to shine, little brother. with a grenade. Dig into that old timer's backpack.
fumes. I need some help. <sighs> Tiger tough, come on! Grab this thing and go home, okay? That's nice. Takes you were right. Pork jammer. Rusty, but it'll do. Let's get back to Bertha. Someone locked the gate to Old Town Road. Probably for the best. You must be this tall to ride. Looks like you're sitting this one out, Elvis. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's get this torque jammer to Bertha. You be good, little bro. Like I always say, he who dares, wit, wit, wit. Thanks, Diggs. You're skipping again. Elvis and Diggs, get over here. Still using those toy rifles? You do know what end the bullets come out, right? Yeah, Pete, we do. But it doesn't matter when your prey is bulletproof. Tougher prey demands a tougher brand of firepower. You boys need to upgrade. Maybe you can find some new guns out there. The Badlands always provide. Hell, I rejiggered and hot-wired my rifle a dozen times over. Guns need upgrades. Not disagreeing with you, but who's got the time? Come on, man. You're the rock and roll mechanic, right? This is up your alley. Find upgrades at Bertha's or in the American Badlands. Either way, you'll thank me. As you know, gangsters are running America. They're called the First Family. Powerful a-holes, rich beyond dreams. <laughs> but they've been sloppy, dropping their tech all over the Badlands, leaving behind choice weapons, too. No, thanks. I'll stick to the weapons I know. Okay, I know you're tough with your killer robot and all, but get yourself a family gun. Plastic casing, maglev beamers, ooh, baby, the whole nine. Ah, America, it's a special country. You and Diggs should get out there. We've been out there, but we don't want to die, so we came back here. Ah, <sighs> know what? I thought I was going to be the first McCaffrey to get out of this town, but nope. I'm going to be buried in the backyard next to six generations of McCaffreys who never got out, never changed their stars. Don't be me, Elvis. See America. Stay strong. Energy, sir. I haven't seen Georgia in a while. Maybe I should say hi. Look what the gator dragged in. I walked past your shop, Elvis. It looks like hammer shit. All right, because this place is immaculate. <laughs> Smells good, too. Don't try to get on my good side, Elvis. I no longer have one. Now, I know you want to find your mama, and no one's going to tell you different. But this town needs a good mechanic, especially with the first family up our asses. You know, I really wanted your mama to come back. You miss her? No. Nah, I wore 50 plastic. She skipped town before I could pay her back. She's been gone so long, though. Might as well give it to you. Really? I don't know, Georgia. She's not coming back. I'm sorry. Take the money and bury the past. Mayor J. Mason, make all the jokes you want, but that man refuses to die. When he lost his legs, he dragged his butt through a half-mile tunnel. When he lost his arms, he fought tooth and nail to become mayor of this town. He must be over 100 years old. Still sharp as a knife. He might live forever. Be careful of men who refuse to kick the bucket. They'll do anything it takes to hold on. Anything. Years ago, we used to trade with the first family face to face. Now they just send their robotic flunkies to squeeze us dry. <laughs> Damn collectors. They take our gold, and in return, they give us just enough supplies to keep us digging. But where else are we gonna buy supplies? They got us bent over a log, all right. So we tell the first family to get lost. What's so hard about that? That's what Elizabeth Town did. Where are they now? Underground, buried in rubble. You know what vexes me? What does the first family do with all that gold? You ruminate on what I told you. Elvis, when you're opening your shop again, my cleaner bot needs fixing. Collection day's coming. Hate these first family bastards. 
Well, to survive, the town had to make a deal with the devil. Well, these devils are squeezing the town dry. Wish I could do something about it. Welcome to Original Bertha's General Store. I'm Bertha Jr. Here's that torque jammer, Bertha. Just like we promised. Hey, hey. Took you a while. Thought somebody killed you boys. And me and Elvis, we don't kill easily. Deal's a deal. Here's a power core. Don't blow yourself up now. Rock and roll. Say, where'd you get that glove? My mama gave it to me. Wanna sell it? Not in a hundred lifetimes. Thanks, Bertha. Thank you right back. Store's open to you boys anytime. If you're looking for deals, take cover, because I'm about to make it rain. You want to shoot more? Shoot farther? All that good stuff? Upgrade your weapon. safe out there. That core working? Like a dream. Let's get back to the mayor. <laughs> 